in three, two, one, and go. We tracked Fettel to an abandoned building just up ahead. No sign of enemy activity on the satellite. Oh, really? Don't take any chances. Okay, I won't. Jankowski, you in position? Don't take any chances. All right, move it out. All right, let's move it out, fellas. All right, so as I said, I'm Maxi Lopes. Pleasure to be here. It's first encounter assault recon. And uh, I'll let my couch introduce themselves. I am JTV underscore underscore. I am an eternal enigma. And I'm Blood Thunder. And there's also an eel. There is. We have an eel joining us. He's going to be providing the best commentary throughout this <laughs> run. Trying to find a way around. So, first encounter assault recon. It's, uh, it's got a lot of spooks. Got lots of spooks. It's got a couple. Oh, where'd that guy go? <laughs> so, a little bit of background on the game. Um, the first encounter assault recon is basically a group of soldiers who are trained to take care of Hold on a sec. very... Very odd cases, uh, very odd murders, you know, bioweaponry stuff, and you know, paranormal things going on. So they're trained to do that stuff. And we're playing as Point Man, who is the most superhuman-esque soldier that is on the First Encounter Assault Recon. And he has been sent... He has been sent, basically, to clean up the mess of a project called Origin, a bioweapons research project. Uh, by a very, very elite group of top scientists. But uh, yeah, as, as you can already tell, it's backfiring as I'm getting hit in the head with a plank of wood. Origin, you say, huh? Mm -hmm. Did it ever become a digital distribution service? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happened? Was Charles Haberger. I remember him. This guy right here, he's a very messy eater. Yeah, mm. it's all raspberry yeah. jelly. He's really into pizza. He no can't sense. control himself. I'm like, how does he get it on his boots, dude? I mean, I've been there before, you know, Little Caesars. Oh, some <laughs> days it's just so good. <laughs> all right, so that was Paxton. He is one of the direct results of the BioOpens uh, bio project. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of like the introduction of the game. It's kind of just telling you how to do simple stuff, how to shoot, how to crouch, um, how to jump. Speaking of jumping... Oh, my. You boys run along. I'll be busy here for a while. He doesn't look very happy. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be very happy about that either. So I can't really it's GDQ. Him. Lighten up, man. He's doing the Undertaker eyeball roll thing, too, and it's just <laughs> awkward. Well, you didn't get any pizza. I know, it's, it's Paxton Fatel ate all the pizza, so. I've tried to forget. Baby Rage baby in the rage. Shot. Baby, rage. baby Rage. Yeah, no. You can, you can actually stop talking. Wow, that's pretty rude. I was trying to watch that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm skipping all the lore. Did you, I've did never you, seen it. Did you tell that guy to get out? Uh, get, <laughs> Enigma, get out! It's a good email. All right, so this is the actual first interval, which, by the way, it's, it's not missions or chapters, it's intervals, but I mess it up anyways because I run a bunch of games that have both and all of them and whatever. So here's our first mission, and it starts off with a really strange trick. Uh, I call it gate skip. Some other people call it, like, shoulder jump. Oh, sir, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on your shoulder now. Stop it. Stop, please, stop, stop it. <laughs> you find that gate control yet? <laughs> no, I haven't found it. Let me go. Come on, we ain't got all day. We don't have all day. <laughs> there we go. Oh my oh, gosh. Jesus. I was stuck on that. Uh, there you go. There's the there trick. We there we go. We don't have all day, he said. So that, that is simply performed by you know, just doing a slightly precise jump and jumping off of his shoulder. Also, you can, you can one punch people in the face in this game. You're going to see a lot of that right now. It's pretty awesome. 
It's kind of like Halo. Yeah. You melee people in the back of the head. Exactly. It's it's exactly this is anywhere. Is. You can hit their toes. It's great. Yeah. So something I haven't mentioned is the way that I'm crouching and getting through those spaces so fast. Hi -ya. Um, <laughs> That's a good explanation. Hi -ya. Um, wow, wow. wow that, that was a lot of blood in that <laughs> kick. He's got <laughs> that was a bloody kick. He is the point man. <laughs> Jellyfoot. It's true. He is the point man. So, uh, yeah, when you, when you crouch, or how you crouch and go super fast is by actually putting the crouch button on your mouse wheel. That's how you do that. You stop it. Sir, you stop it. Yeah, so Max is going to be setting up a trick here, but he needs some of these enemies to not be around. Um, so if they blow up this fire extinguisher, he can't do the trick. Right. Yeah. This little trick is called box boost. And uh, the way it works... The way it works is that I'm throwing a grenade in order to change the physics of the room because that's what happens when you throw a grenade. Yeah, it makes no sense, but... It makes works. no sense, yeah. It, works, hey, it makes perfect sense to me. So I'm just going to make a quick safety save, and we're going to shoot this fire extinguisher, and we're going to fly. And we're just going to ride the box, and we don't have to... Oh, man. We don't have to do anything. It's by the book. Fire extinguisher, you shoot them and you fly. Every time. So yeah, that's box boost. A really good example of just using a prop to get somewhere you're not really supposed to be going. Yeah, you'll be seeing more of that type of skip later on. Hey, yeah. Spook. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. So this is Jankowski. Uh, he was mentioned right at the start of the run. Uh, you actually see a lot of him just kind of walking around all spooky. Hi. Ooh. That's a, that's a lot of blood. You know, there's lots of jelly in this game. Right, so Someone's that concludes the first... Oh, boy. Okay. Hey, you're not supposed to look at the explosion. I'm looking... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to jump through this window, and that is the end of the second interval. There's actually a chance to get soft locked when you yeah. get that window, too, so it's... That didn't happen. Very fortunate for that. Oh, and those quick loading times. Let's go. And right here, we got a time for a couple donations. He's alive. All right. We have a twenty-five dollar donation from Siege. Maxi loves sneaking in some support for my man Max. He, he inspires me to speed run myself through that insane library of speed games. Thank Always you. Greetings from Germany, Maxi. Hi. We have a five dollar donation from Orpheus. I love your shirt, Maxi. Best of luck with the run. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Orpheus. See you, Orpheus. Fantastic people. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna do this neat trick. I almost didn't do it because I usually don't do it, but I just learned how to do it before the uh, the event. So what we're gonna do is we are going to teleport. That's gotta be useful. Oh. Try one more time. Oh. You better get going. <laughs> <laughs> you better get going. So I just teleported. Um, and the way that I'm doing that is I'm pressing quick save twice and quick loading at the same time as that second quick save. And that sends me to a predetermined spot in the interval. Also, I'm flying right now. Um, <laughs> I'll explain that. Um, <laughs> you basically walk up to a, basically, it's not basic at all, it's messed up. Um, you walk up to a ladder, you hold the jump button, and then you press crouch and interact with the ladder at the same time. If you do it correctly, you're floating. And the reason why I need to float is because there's this door that I can't access without getting over this fence. And you know where this door leads to? Absolutely nowhere. And we're gonna just we're just gonna chill and float to the exit. Here's the rest of the level if you guys are curious. If it'll sp oh there it is. It's so ah. pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. Uh yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Uh oh. Uh <laughs> hello? Dun dun dun. 
Let's punch the water. That was a good idea. Punching the water always helps. Okay, I, I unfortunately actually have to do this again. It's okay. Hey, if you have plenty of time. Don't you have work to do? <laughs> 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 I do have work to do. Stop. Stop making fun of me. That should be one of your uh, alerts on your Twitch channel. <laughs> Don't you have work to do? I guess we have some time for some donations. All right, we have a $25 from Tronus. Australian prime time for GDQ. Great to be back on. Shouts to Casper and Lily. Good luck, Maxi. We have $50 from Like Q. Maxi, so happy to see you doing a run. Good luck and all the love. Money goes to runner's choice. Maxi, cool. Thank you so much, Like you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, if you guys are wondering what uh, what I'm putting it to, I'm saving Merle. Boo. Meryl. <laughs> Meryl. Meryl's here. You're, you're saving Meryl. So this is um, what we were supposed to see. A very spooky skeleton hug. Bring it in, brother. All right. Okay, so I couldn't, I couldn't access that because I was uh, a little too low. I wasn't high enough to trigger the... Uh, the cutscene. Also, I just teleported again, except this time I was on a ladder during it so that I can use the ladder animation to get to the room. Because um, if you don't use the ladder, then you can't do that. You, you just kind of fall and hit a death plane. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Right? I believe it. So we're basically going to be doing the hover glitch again and uh, kind of doing the same thing. We're going to be floating over to the end of the interval. And this is one of the last times we're going to be doing such a long floating segment. Actually, this would be another perfect time for some for, uh, more donations. All right. We have $20 from Fuss Joe Da. There we go. Yo. Yo, Maxi. Joe here. Had to support one of my bros since I couldn't be there with you guys. Good luck with the run and have fun being one punch man. Joey, thank you so much. We miss you, brother. We have $100 from CJ Haza. Yo. Shout out to Maxi, one of the best streamers out there. Good luck on the run, and remember all the swag strats you can. <laughs> Thank you so much, CJ. We're actually coming up to a pretty swaggy strat right now called Bad Water Skip. Um, I'm going to be doing a quick port in the middle of a jump. I'm going to land on these water pipes. And as you can see, I can barely see anything. It's very dark. I turn on my flashlight, and I can't see anything. So we're going to do this blind. I've never done this before. It's actually pretty scary. I have all of the same settings on this computer as I do at home, but uh, it just doesn't turn out the same way. So this is going to be pretty tricky. We're going to try and jump over here. Oh. Maybe a little bit more distance. Got it. There we go. Yes. First try. <laughs> so yeah, usually like when I run this game at home, I can see everything. It's not dark like that. but um. It'll just be cooler. It's cooler in the dark. Alright, so we're coming up to a fight. And uh, there's a very specific way of doing this fight. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking up this proximity mine, which is going to come in handy at the end of it. Oh, uh-oh. I almost blew myself up. That's, that's very slow. That would have been bad. Yeah, that's a very slow way to do things. All right, here we go. So start of the fight. We're going to do one melee, two melee. We're going to throw down the proximity mine. And the game is paused? What? Why is the game paused? You're just going way too fast. Oh, what the? Okay. <laughs> it just didn't load. Boom. Now that's why we put the proximity mine down, because these two dudes run out here, and they just blow up. And it makes this fight very, very optimal, ex except for the random game pausing. <laughs> Yeah, that could be an issue. 
I have no idea why that happened. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go back and get these uh, this body armor med kit. Wait for this helicopter. And so now we're going to Armacam headquarters, which is like part two of the run. This is part one. We're at the uh, facility that makes refrigerators and electronics. I don't know why we're here. It's weird, but that sounds perfect for this game. Actually. <laughs> yeah. And now we're in a helicopter, and we're just gonna show. We got time for a couple donations. All right, we have $10 from Oni Streets. Hello from Japan, Maxi Lobes, and good luck on your run. Also, Enigma, the jacket is looking good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It changes colors, too. We have $10 from Ashiaka. Third year watching GDQ and watching these games get destroyed never gets old. Shout out to my dude, Maxi. Donation to his choice. Maxi, Thank you. party. Thank you, Ashiaka. We have $25 from Ratters. It's so awesome to see Maxi on SGDQ. I'm so proud. Good luck, man. Now stop paying attention to, the, to this donation. You have some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So now that we're at Armacam, this LZ is hot. I don't have to say much else. Did you just kick three guys at once? Yes, I did. Would you like to see it again? Oh, yes. Hey, that was My only two goodness. guys, though. <laughs> so yeah, as you guys can see, it is, it is a pretty hot LZ. There are dudes everywhere. It's a very hectic but short interval. Unfortunately, you, 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 you don't actually need to fight anybody here. They're just in the way, so he's just having fun. Yep. Hiya! Oh, yeah! Whoa. Uh, okay. Like a bicycle kick right there. Are we playing Mortal Kombat? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Monolith made this game, correct? Yeah, Monolith did make this game. I, I tweeted them. I tagged them. And they also did Condemned. You know, mm -hmm. Condemn's melee animation was great because it was literally just a foot that just went up in the screen. <laughs> <laughs> they improved that a little bit for fear. So. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so now we're actually in the Armacan building. And as soon as we get in here, there's a pretty crazy uh, set of things. There's basically a bunch of steps to do a skip that doesn't skip a whole lot, but it is so cool doing it. Just the process of doing this so cool. Oh, well cool. then. Oh yeah, and also this is where the invisible punchy dudes come out. I I don't know what their names are, but that's I a pretty good. That's a pretty good name. Yeah, invisible, invisible punchy dudes. Yeah, I like yeah. that. It's got a nice ring to it. They're gonna try and beat me up right now. Ah, oh, I'm too fast. <laughs> I can tell. All right, so like you guys saw with Box Boost, I'm going to be doing something very similar as Box Boost, but it's a little bit more complex, just a little bit. I can't see, oh, there we go. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this ceiling tile drop. I'm going to push it against this vending machine. Well, I mean, if it wants to, there you go. I'm going to push it against this vending machine. I'm going to toss a grenade, hello? There we go. I'm going to toss a grenade. I'm going to go into slow-mo. I'm going to jump at the precise time oh. to lift me up to the vent, which I'm, I'm not supposed to be up here. <laughs> no one's supposed to be up It's there. also really dark, so you can't really see much, but I've practiced this all good. Oh. And... Oh. <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, it's super dark on these computers. Yeah, uh, it's normally it's never this dark. Issue, that's all. That's all. We can all be happy, though, that the grenade did not blow up the Diet Squish machine. Yeah, Diet Squish is delicious. It's a great drink. So what I'm trying to do right there we go. I'm trying to jump on top of here, jump on top of this gate, and make sure that I don't drop down to my death. I'll hop over here, and we're in. And I basically... Uh, thank you, thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> I, uh, I skipped having to talk to Norton Mapes, or as we like to call him, Chester. Yeah, Chester. 
Um, he's, if you guys don't remember who Norton Mapes is, maybe I can I don't. give you an idea of what he looks like. He's got a nice big Hawaiian shirt on. He's got jeans on. Um, and basically, he spends all day at his job uh, eating cheesy poos. And that's cheesy puffs, but they call them cheesy poos in this game. <laughs> it's pretty funny. They're very close to the South Park reference. But right. Not poofs, but poos. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's, that's Norton. And so we basically skip. Was that more baby rage? That was a lot of baby rage. That was a lot of baby rage. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we skip interacting with him at all. We, we don't have to see him at all. And what I'm going to try and attempt right now is a gate clip, but man, there's a lot of jelly. That is, yeah, overflow, super fluid. Hey, did you cause this? Hey, get back here. <laughs> Why don't she turn into a barrier? Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna try and I can't see. There's no way I can do this. When Kool-Aid <laughs> commercials go wrong. I'll just wait for him to open it. There we go. So yeah, that is, uh, that, is that interval. And we're about to do another really big skip. It's not as intricate, but it is pretty big. There's a man named Bishop, and he's being held hostage. He's being held hostage with explosives on him, and we gotta save him. Oh my goodness. Yes. We gotta save We gotta save him, chat. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I have better things to do. We'll come back. Yeah, so I'm just gonna jump yeah, up to the fine. I'm gonna jump up to the second floor by kind of clipping myself into the ledge. And uh Get out of here! Ah! You can't just punch children. Did you just punch a child? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just a video game polygon mesh. It's okay. But yeah. Um. So. Oh. I have ten med kits. Do what? I usually don't have this many medkits, so you'll probably see me look at a medkit trying to pick it up, and it just won't happen. Oh, see? <laughs> it's literal, literally memory imprinted into my brain. Anyway, so after you do Bishop Skip, you're kind of just running around and dodging some people, picking up some stuff. This would actually be a perfect time for uh, some donations. Sure thing. We have $10 from Kiara. Hey, Maxi, Kiara here. Yeah. Stop by minutes before work to wish you best luck on your run. You've got a bunch of people outside of GDQ in your corner. Hashtag runner's choice. Thank you so much, Kiara. Thank you, thank you. We have $35 from Cyborg Rachel. Shout out to Maxi, one of the streamers who helped me learn to love speedrunning. Sorry I couldn't be there, but so glad I can be awake to watch your run. Air power. Yo, Rachel, thank you so much. We miss you, yo. Yeah? We have $25 from Tiffin Noodles. Hi, Maxie. I've had a blast <laughs> watching your stream for the last couple of years. You've been such a positive light in my life. Aww. Shout outs to you, the people on the couch, and this entire event. Thanks for everything. Thank you, Tiffy. Thank you, thank you. You guys ready for a possible quad? Let's go for the quad. I'm ready. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, oh, I was so ready for Halo. Oh, that's a grenade. <laughs> oh, oh. I was ready for Halo announcer voice. Sir, move. <laughs> One punch. I love the screaming from the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This this game's a hoot. It is. It's a very good game. Um yeah, we got time for more donations, we got them. All right, we have $20 from the Husky. Here's my share to help the great cause that is Doctors Without Borders. Oh, and to see a childhood game like Fear get broken in return for all those jump scares it caused me. Take that, Fear. <laughs> what the fuck is ATC doing? Whoa, man. Whoa. We have $7.77 from Kronos, one of my absolute favorite games of all time. Classic. Second time watcher, second time donator. Here's $7.77 for some good luck on your time. Oh, and kill the animals. Hashtag Maxi Hype. Thank you, thank you. Maxi Hype. We have $5 from Anonymous. Had to donate again during Maxi's run. And glad to see Enigma on the couch. 
Have a great run, and thanks for taking the time to do this. Also, shout out to the announcer's silky smooth voice. Well, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. So this is a really good example of why the crouch glitch is very helpful. This would take like 10 seconds to get through if I wasn't doing that. So very, very nice exploit. Very easy to do. Just got to map your crouch button to mouse wheel. Oh, hello. There's Jankowski. All right, so we're going to do another hover glitch here. And um, this hover glitch isn't for like a big skip or anything. It's more just to make this room a lot more optimal because we're supposed to raise the water and kind of go through this tunnel in order to actually get to this room over here where we are going to turn on the elevator. So instead of having to do a bunch of other steps before it, we can just kind of hover our way to the second floor, get over here. Turn on the elevator, and then these uh, these dudes show up, but we're going to give them a nice surprise. Kobe! Oh. Uh, got him. <laughs> I got him. Almost got him. Sir, stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Hey, stop it. Stop. Stop it. Hey, stop it. <laughs> All right, we're going to teleport. This is this is actually huge. This quick port, we call it a quick port, by the way. It's not just a teleport. It's a quick port. Um, it's the name for it. This quick port is huge. We just skipped uh, quite a bit. Originally, we have another interaction with Norton Mate, and he tells us that we need to... Uh, we need to go do some, some stuff, turn on some switches, whatever. But um, with the quick port, we can get straight to the switch, press it, and then we're pretty much done. This takes like 30 seconds. Yeah, the level's basically a big circle, and it teleports you right to the, uh, the end of the circle. Exactly. Um, but this one's a little bit more complex. What I'm about to do is called a pillar climb. Now, I'll explain after I do it, because the setup for it is like slightly precise. Oh, okay. The enemy screaming just always gets me. Okay, there we go. So what I'm doing uh, is I'm uh, jumping up the pillar in, like, it's made by tiles. It's not just one big wall. It's a set of tiles, like, stuck together. So that's why I can land on them. So you just kind of got to count your jumps, make sure you don't over jump and just fall back down. And you know, if you're in the right spot, you'll do a jump, you'll hold up right, and you will you'll make it up there. And it skips a whole interaction with a mini boss. Um, I guess you could call it a mini boss. Hey, sir, stop it. I mean, you could. You just yeah. Did it, it's so. it's um it's a mech warrior esque type of thing. And yeah, it's your kind first like encounter. Full boss. With it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty much a boss. So yeah, we skip all of that. I mean, it's huge skips in this game. You, you know what's up. It wasn't your fault? Come on, Jankowski. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, let's blame it all on Jankowski. It's not always Jankowski's fault. You have no idea. I, I can't. Where's my flashlight? <laughs> <laughs> this game's so dark. I've seen it in my dreams. Fire sweeping the air. Bodies in the streets. Cities turned to dust. You know what time it is. Baby rage. That is baby rage to the extreme. Yeah, actually, uh, there's <laughs> there's a ton of baby rage in this game. There is. So a lot of these um, a Ooh. hello. <laughs> yeah. A lot of these soldiers that you see me fight. Most of them are synthetic soldiers that are uh, created to be controlled by Paxton. Um, but uh, the dudes with the hats and the blue swoots, that's actually SWAT. So those are those are like legit people. So they're kind of getting into the they're getting into the wrong mess. Oh. Right, I got five med kits. I think I'll pick up an extra right here. Yeah. Just just to be safe, you know. 
gonna throw a grenade. And that's simply to actually stun some of those dudes and the silverback, because the Needler gun is... It's not actually the Needler, I just call it the Needler. <laughs> Um, it's more that Halo. Yeah, yeah. That Halo goodness. Yeah, those um, yeah, those dudes do a lot of damage with that gun, so it's good to stun them. Yeah, so the boss or mini boss we were talking about earlier is that giant mech that fell down right there. Yep, that's him. Kind of gets more common as the game goes on. <laughs> Dude, these punches are the best, man. I love this game. It's easily one of my favorites to run. Very happy to have gotten it into GDQ, so I can show you all how crazy it is. And uh, the f the first little bit of this interval is nothing too special. We're gonna wait for an elevator, uh, an elevator, then we're gonna do a quick port, take a phone call, and uh, just kind of continue on. So now would be a great time for some donations. All right, we have one hundred and fifty dollars from Leonge. Thank you guys for the great work you all are doing. Since doctors save lives, I feel obliged to save the animals. We have $20 from Trina Wolfie. Hey, Maxie, stayed up all night to make sure I caught your stream. Really enjoying this insane pizza party so far, but first, let me take a selfie. Maxie Woo. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Trina. We have $50 from Fleur Gandhi. I thought fear was supposed to be scary. So far, this run is just hilarious. I'm glad you think so. Thank you. I'm pretty scared. Those enemies sound scared when they scream. Man, you know it'd be scary if like an elevator just, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just leave this couch now? Like, I need to go hide in my closet. Yeah, we, we got time for a few more. All right, we got $10 from Salty Boy. Hype for the fear run. Happy to donate to a great cause, especially during this horror game block. Want to give a quick shout out to my friend Sydney, another big horror fan. Love you, Sid. We have $50 from Roxy Lumber. Hey, Max, good luck on the run. Money to runner's choice and $25 extra to commentator's choice if he gets my name right first try. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. You know, so this interval right here, you're just going to see me running around a lot, uh, beating people up. But now this is where it gets interesting. You see this gate? Now, what we're going to do is we are going to just kind of push our way into the gate by pressing up and right a lot. And hopefully, oh, come on. Let me get in there. This is very difficult to do. Oh. So... This is very frame rate dependent. I was gonna ask if it's it frame is rate very dependent. frame rate dependent, so I might actually might actually have to pass on this one. <gasps> oh, let's go! All right. First so we just try. got through the game. First try. First try. <laughs> That's all it takes. So yeah, that is completely frame rate dependent, um, and it's also very finicky trying to get yourself through that. But it saves a lot of time, so very much so worth it. Now we're just back to run and gun, toss some mines. Halo playing with your bros. Oh yeah, the good old days. So yeah, and the reason why I'm actually taking my time to um, kill some of these synthetic soldiers is because I need to escort Alice Wade. So we got to make sure that all of these dudes just aren't here when I do that. Otherwise, they make things really slow. This game has always amused me because some of the enemies randomly just explode into blood. Oh, it's jelly. Blood jelly. <laughs> yeah. Jelly blood. Toss a nade. Whoa. Toss another nade. Whoa. You're not one of... <laughs> totally cut her off, bro. 
we're gonna kill this guy. Oh, this chair is very much so in the way. There we go. Take this gun. Make sure this guy's dead. I think he's dead. <laughs> I want to double check. Oh, this guy has not blown this mine up, which is really annoying. Because that was supposed to happen by now. Yes, sir. My goodness. Oh, give me this. Alright, so I think everyone's cleared. I think there's one last guy that I didn't get, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna get him. You're not going anywhere but a safe house till this is over. Is he over here? Yeah, he is over here. You're so sneaky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we should all talk like that slow mo speak. Okay, so everyone over here is dead skis, which is good. Oh. Exactly. You should go to bed. There we go. All right, we got Alice. She's safe. She's going to get in this elevator, and we're going to listen to some nice elevator tunes. You don't mess around, do you? Oh, no. Never. If any of you were wondering, she, in fact, does not have her shoes on. I don't know what happened to them, but... There's no telling. The, 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 the weirdest thing about it. Here, hold on. I'll get to that just in a second. I need to make some spooky skeletons. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Also, um, they're totally webbed. She's actually an otter. They are. It explains so much about her. I hope you're all enjoying the the music. It's very relaxing. I think uh, 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 makes me want to slow my again. speech. I think it fits the game pretty well. Come back! Where are you going now? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I'm I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, we got a different beat now. Changing it up, keeping it fresh. In the elevator. That's a big elevator, by the way. Yeah, this. Uh, <laughs> wow. Are you serious? Did she just put everything on blast? <laughs> oh. Really? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I'll, uh, I got it. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, I freaked out. I'm just not used to being shot at. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's a What's neat little on? trick. To I'm going to lean into the wall and use the controls before going into the room. You can just use it through the wall. It's a nice little time save. And I actually just did it, like, really quickly. <laughs> it's usually not that quick. Hey, good job. Thank you, thank you. And also, doing that makes it so that this creepy music continues. Um, it's supposed to have stopped by now, but... And that is the Alice Wade Escort. There you are. How did we get separated? <laughs> I remember the power going out in the elevator. Then the next thing I knew, I, I was arriving on the top floor. And you were gone. Top floor. We should have a visual on the evac chopper. Have I mentioned I really like this game? Oh my god! Have <laughs> you? This is crazy. I am not waiting here. My dad's in danger. That was a bit of a late reaction. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Alice, are you okay? A little delayed. Sorry. You guys want to see some magic? I love magic. Come on, scary Alice. magic. 
Whoa, where'd she She's go? She's gone. She disappeared, just like that. Very tense music now. This is some good music now. So yeah, I got 10 med kits. I'll just let these guys shoot whenever. I usually shoot them with the ray gun, but I'm feeling generous. Welcome to own good guy, Maxi. So, we're coming up to one of the skips in the game that I honestly, I don't know why this happens. You're just gonna have to... Just gotta accept it. You just gotta accept it. That's what we, it's gonna be. we call it the laptop teleport. It's not really a teleport, as you've seen before, like a quick port, but just just, just watch. It's, it's magic. Yeah, just, yeah, it's basically magic. Just pay attention. And there you go, I'm on and the top it. floor. That's it. I, yeah. It's all tanks. Makes perfect sense to me, to be honest. And by yeah. the way, doing that first try is not easy. <laughs> I had to practice that a lot. So we're going to do another hover glitch here. We're going to crouch nine times. Go under the door and uh, bye. Wow. Usually they have really bad aim, like Stormtrooper status. But I was going to say, that one's very persistent. Indeed. So yeah, now this is one of the other times where we just kind of float to the just exit. fly around, yeah. yeah. And this level looks like it's really big, but it's actually not because you're just taking this elevator down here and this parking lot area doesn't take too long. But yeah, it's, it's a big skip, but it's not like humongous. Also, the helicopter noise is like attached to the door. So like you go over here and like you can't hear the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty silly. And yeah, there we go. That is part two. That is Armacam completely done. We're out of that building, and we are on our way to the underground facility. Why there? Also, I would love it if everyone just paid attention to this woman's face, because it's hilarious in, in just a moment. It's really funny. <laughs> She's just like It's like not the face you make when you're in a helicopter going down. Yeah, it's really not. <laughs> I mean, that's the face I make. But yeah, that's the face you make when your refrigerator's breaking. Okay. Not when the plane's the going down. And Jen's banged up pretty bad. What about you? I live. But it'll be a while before I can ice skate again. Oh, no more ice skating. Are you oh. serious? Oh. You were going to the championships, man. Alright, so this is Urban Decay. It's, um... There's not, like, a whole lot going on in this mission, honestly, so... Uh, or Interval, rather. Um, so, actually, now would be perfect time for some donations, if you got them. And I know you do. Maybe we don't. Yes, we have fifty dollars from Poochie the Dova. Yo, Poochie. Hey, Yo, Maxi, Poochie. it's the Pooch. Sorry, it's not as much as promised beforehand, but every bit helps. Absolutely, every bit helps. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you. We have one hundred fifty dollars from Larry Dog sixty four. Should probably be asleep, but fear will probably keep me up. Oh well. Good luck with the runs. Thank you. Thank you for the good luck and. Uh, you can sleep tomorrow. Here's a window skip. It's not really a huge skip. Did I die? Am I alive? Oh, I'm alive. You look alive. I honestly don't know how I just survived. I should have hit a death plane, but we're totally fine. Um, so that's just like an unintended way of getting to this other side of the building. It's not, a, it's not necessarily a huge skip. It's just a neat little trick. We call it window trick. Um, so yeah, they decided to give uh, the outside walls collision, so you can jump on them. She told me so many I have many questions for Monolith. I would love to actually talk to a dev of this game, because uh, for those of you who might be wondering, like, oh, is this a, this isn't a patched version, is it? It is. It is very bad. It is a patched version. They just missed a couple things, you know. 
It happens. Just a couple. To be fair, the unpatched is way more broken. Yeah, BT can tell you all about that. So uh, now we're uh, now we're t oh nice. Jet set radio. <laughs> for, those, for those of you who remember, I did the jet set run, uh, 2016. And I did Devil May Cry in 2017 HDQ. So you get around these events, yeah. don't you, Maxi? I was on the wonderful couch for that amazing RE4 run by JTB over here. That was a fun yeah. run. But yeah, I'm sure anyone who watches GDQ regularly probably knows me as the spooky block guy. <laughs> you, uh, you also drank chocolate milk one time, didn't you? Uh, yeah, on your couch for Silent Hill 4. That's good chocolate milk, by the way. It was really good. It was exceptionally good. Shoutouts to the GDQ staff for setting that up. And that was totally unplanned, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Definite shoutouts to them. We know how to have fun. We sure do. I don't know. I want chocolate milk now. I'll throw a plan of uh, chip Yeah, chair. me too. <laughs> so yeah, nothing too special about the rest of this interval at Wolf for now. So we got time for some donations. All right, we have a $1,000 anonymous Ooh, donation. Oh my yes. goodness, yeah. <laughs> and all the comment says is, play with the jacket, Enigma, do it for charity. I can't, I can't say no, no. to that. See, it goes black, <laughs> then purple, then black, then purple. Look at that, it's just, it's like that. It's magic. We have $5 from T. Chen. Glad I decided to stay up to catch this magnificent fear run by Maxi. Good luck, and that's a fine jacket you got there, Enigma. Maxi party. Well, thank you. Thank you, T-Chan. The other arm does it, too. We have $10 from Peachy Stalker of 24. It's so fun to watch Maxi's run and to see Enigma's fabulous jacket on the couch. Love it. Good luck, Maxi. That jacket you is just a hit. Jacket. Does Thank you, Peachy. It does. Yeah. Not even mentioning the eel, though. Change his color. Look how bad. Can we get some love for the Can eel? Can we get some love for the eel? The, I mean, the jacket sparkles, but it's an eel. Can we put the jacket on the eel? Can we put the jacket on the eel? Yeah, the yeah. eel. Yeah, right? Can we? I don't know if we can. We can kind of like... We can kind of... We can kind of... Kangar kangaroo pouch it a little bit. There you go. Okay. All right. That's the hardest part. Done. I can tell. <laughs> now. She's close now. She's close now. She's close. Her presence now. is strong. Her Christmas presents are really good. <laughs> I mean, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. It's July. I'm sorry. But it's so. June. We're going to pick up these nades, and we're going to get a new gun. I have no idea what it's actually called. I just call it the Gravity Blaster, because that's a cool name. Right? That's, that works for me. And uh, we're going to get the Gravity Blaster for something later, and we're going to use the Hover Glitch, and we're going to float. And I'm going to show you guys, actually, uh, wh what time are we at right now? We're about 48 minutes and 23 seconds. 48 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to show this little cool thing off. I think you guys will like it. Let's do it. So we're just going to be floating around. Usually, uh, in an any percent run, we would go through this window over here. But I feel like showing you guys something neat that I found a couple weeks before coming to GDQ. We're going to be doing the normal uh, no out of bounds route. For those of you who are wondering uh, what categories there are for this game, there's any percent, which is just use everything possible to get through. Any percent, no out of bounds. Self-explanatory um, and glitchless. So, a bunch of different ways to run this game. And there's both patched and unpatched versions for each of those. Uh, uh, exactly. And the un the unpatched version is even more broken. Oh. But uh, in in very different ways. It's a, it's a slightly different run, and I am not used to it. I I run the current patch at the moment. They're both very good runs, though. This is a very good speed game. If anyone's looking for a new first-person shooter to get into for speedrunning, I highly suggest this one. It is fun. 
for the uh, for the uninitiated, how much quicker is the unpatched version, just by minutes? I would say a couple now. Now with some new discoveries, such as the quick port, I would say a couple minutes, maybe. Yeah, the people that play unpatched uh, have done more recent runs with mm -hmm. newer stuff in it, so it's kind of hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, until an unpatched runner comes back. <laughs> this guy. So maybe. what I what I want to <laughs> show you right now is the fact that this fence right here does not have any collision. They just didn't put in. <laughs> I don't know why. So what so. makes that really cool is that we can come down here and we can just look at Alma. Hey Alma. Hey, Alma. Hi. Oh, She's dip, teleported. Dip. Oh. 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 You look so pretty today, just for the occasion. Oh. You've made a mess though. You need to. You need to clean up. All right. Let's go. Oh wait, did I quick port? I did. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That's okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now time for a crazy skip. I don't even. I, yeah. Hold on. Let me. Let me just jump and quick port, fall on this ladder and use it so that I don't die from fall damage. Now, because that's already so hard enough, now we're going to do the hover glitch. And while we do the hover glitch, we're going to switch to the shotgun. And you know what that does? That switches the bullet value. So now we're shooting the gravity blaster, but we aren't hurting ourselves like we should because the bullet is shotgun and it does no damage to us. Therefore, we can just force ourselves up this vent. go through the top of it, and the exit is over here. Huge skip. Lapdog is a very long interval, and this skip is actually quite hard to do. I made it look much easier than it is. There you go. So I'm going to quick save here a few times, take my time, because for some weird reason the game likes to crash here. Which it didn't. Hey, awesome. And uh, I'm just going to go say hi to Norton Mapes real quick. Hi, Norton. There's Norton. Hey, Norton. There's Chester. All right. You locked you out. The only way All right, bye. Bye, Norton. So Norton's telling us that we need to div divert power to the door, which means we need to do a bunch of crazy stuff. But you know what we're going to do instead? We're going to get on this ladder. We're going to quick port. And uh, we're going to use the ladder animation to climb into this wall and then clip into the vault. And there you go. Bye, Norton. Bye, Norton. There's like three other ways to do this area, and they're all just as crazy. They're awesome. But yeah, that is vault skip. Another humongous skip, and now it's time for my personal favorite. I think every Fear Runner, this is their favorite trick. Oh, yeah. So similar to the box boost and similar to the Norton skip, or the Chester skip. Um, I am going to be riding another object. If it's here, wait, is it? Is your detail on medium? It's not here. What's your uh, uh, world detail at? I think it's things? on. I think it's on minimum. That you need to bump it up one. That's why. Can we do that now? You should be able to. You might have to reload the area. I'm going to make a save, make a hard save. I'm going to do options. Yeah, so there's a kind of a weird thing about this game. Um, if the world detail is too low, it takes out too many items, like what, what we need for this boost. But if it has too many, then there's just tons of items in the way when you're trying to run through the levels. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave, load, yeah. vault. If this doesn't work, you might try the auto save. Yeah, if it doesn't work, I mean, I might as well just do it regularly. But yeah, it's not here. Ooh, dang! This is like the one skip in the game I actually know. This is my favorite skip. Yeah, I would check the auto save, but auto save? Yeah, because it should be from the beginning of the level. Or load, auto save the vault. We'll see if this works. There it is! Hey! It's only step one, though. All right. That is so dark. Yeah, it's really dark. Now we can actually do the... Okay, hold on, actually. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Oh, God. I... Uh-oh. Here, let's do this. Oh. 
I agree. Let's do that again. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just, let's just uh, redo that one one more time. Come on. Come on, Floppy. Oh, are you serious? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, sometimes when you touch it, it just goes like two inches, and other times it flies, it flies 20 feet. It flies all the way across, yeah. yeah. It's a little RNG for you. Where, where is it? I think, I think it's, it's gone. I think, it flew, <laughs> I think it flew off again. I think you destroyed it. Okay, there. Just work with me here, Floppy. Uh, you know it's. You know where you are. You're know. just trying to ruin everything, Floppy. Oh to, no! To take, oh. It's not supposed to go through those two. <laughs> you can kind of make this work from a lot of places. It just. Uh, you need it to be somewhere good. There we go. This might work now. Okay. So. Let's let's uh, let's ride this floppy, or we cannot <laughs> shoot our gun. <laughs> what is going on right now? There we go. Hold on. <laughs> and oh. boom! There we First, go. Try. First, First try. try. First try. First try. <laughs> So that is that is floppy boost. We're just kind of riding the floppy to the other side of the room. It's uh, it's usually not that much of a pain to get the floppy drive to actually come to the game, come to the event. Yeah, and this is uh, this is the man who's responsible for Project Origin. Uh, he sucks. All right, that was Jankowski's fault. Oh, right, yeah, it's Jim yeah. Kowski's fault. This is this. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, that's spooky. Oh, my goodness. What time are we at? Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's do, let's do the pause buffer. Don't look, Eel. Don't look. Look at that leg! Oh. That's a nice leg. That's a leg right there. Oh! oh she coming in for the smooch. All right. So now we're headed to we're headed to the outside. We need to get out of here. This entire place is going to explode with Alma's rage now that she's out of the vault that she's been kept in for years and years, preserved, only to really just kind of die in there. So she's coming back. She's she's a little bit angry. Oh, me too. Yeah, I would be pretty upset as well. I, yeah. I don't like being preserved for bioweapons projects, so and look at these guys. I just call these the flying torsos because I just don't have any other good name for them. We'll go with flying torsos. It sounds like a band name. And now I'm becoming Spider-Man. That was a good Spider-Man impression. Oh, nice. Thank you, thank you. Also, that was... A, a pretty big skip, actually. It yeah, just doesn't. It doesn't look. Look. It doesn't look like a big skip, but it's pretty big. It's just really easy to do. It's the easiest skip in the game, actually. And now more flying torsos spawn. And what's great about these flying torsos is that they just kind of hang out because I'm on this railing. Like if I wasn't on this railing, they'd be really angry, and they're just kind of <laughs> like, they're just kind of chilling. Hey. Where's the lower half of my body? The <laughs> whole the whole band is here. Oh, what a way. And they're and gone. they're gone. Now we're just going to ride this elevator out of the underground facility as it explodes and such. And we're on to our final interval of the run. One of the scarier ones too. Mm -hmm. So, um, this part isn't super specific. What I'm doing is I'm basically just using the gravity blaster to get myself around and take out the enemies. You know, we're gonna throw a nade right here. Oh, yep. oh, uh oh, oh. I'm good. It's fine. Okay, we're we're okay. We're good. We're fine. It's so dark, so I got caught on a wall that I usually don't get caught on. And there's these guys. Ouchie. We're gonna shoot these boxes over here in order to jump on them and jump on this box and get over. A little quick strat here. And hi guys. <laughs> and
And uh, if you do what I just did and you let all of these dudes accumulate here, the noise gets like to like 200% or something wild like that. <laughs> so if you ever wanted to hear like the loudest thing possible in the game, it's that for sure. Pick up this body armor, get out my gun, reload. I'm gonna let these first couple of dudes hit me and then we'll start shooting. And what you want to do is you want to you want to shoot as soon as they spawn in order to get the fastest possible cycles. Just like that. Saving those frames, you know. but they're not finished. Hi. I'm just going to take all that damage, just tank it all. And now for, uh, for a nice little cutscene to end it all off. I've tried to forget. Well, not yet. Not a cutscene. So First, we're... Oh, hi. Oh, hey. Hello. How you doing? I can't hug you. Yeah. Just not acceptable. Oh, hi. Oh, no. oh okay. Really Bye. Wants that hug. Those arms are long. You know, we got to go on a date first. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep it formal. There is a procedure to these things, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this flashing light go. I'm going to turn around, walk forward, and start shooting. I don't remember how many shots it takes to actually stop Alma, but that was enough. Nice. Now it's time for the legendary cutscene. And, you know, if you remember the cutscene at the start of the run. You will be a god among men. Take her back to the vault. No! Project Origin, Subject Alma Wade. It all makes sense. Well, not really, because I skipped most of the game, but hey. So yeah, that is, uh, uh, you know who I am? Are you serious? Alma, please. She's watching as well, Maxie. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if, did anybody donate as Alma? <laughs> <laughs> we had we had Hydration Bot earlier, but I don't think Alma. Aww. All right, well, this is the end of the run, so let's just all sit back and watch it blow over. Shower in Atlanta, Georgia, every day. <laughs> <laughs> every day. Believe me. All right. So uh, that's time. time. First try. <laughs> that's it. First try. Yep. So that is first encounter assault recon, any percent, and. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much, all you guys and gals out there watching at home, all the guys and gals in the crowd, my wonderful fellas on the couch, thanks and to all of them. Thank you to everybody who donated during the run and before. And, and the eel. And after. Thank you, Mr. Eel. 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 Here, take the, e take the eel. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate all of the love and the donations. But yeah, thank you. I'm Maxi Lobes. I speedrun uh, 10 plus games regularly Fatal Frame, Suffering, Beautiful Joe, Devil May Cry, Silent Hill games, Resident Evil games, everything. Just at Radio. Just at Radio. Just at Radio. I speedrun all those. Um, hit me up on Twitter, Maxi Lobes. Twitch, Maxi Lobes. Yeah, if you guys ever have questions and you want to know a little bit more about the speedruns that I do or a little bit more about uh, GDQ and how much fun it is and how awesome the staff are and how awesome Power Up Audio are. Thank you to the hosts for doing a wonderful job. And uh, yeah, thank you to everybody here for making this event super special. It's near and dear to my heart and I am very, very proud 
to provide a great run of fear for you.